Hi, my name is Diego Sambataro and I am the sound designer at Stormine Games. In a world where any sound that you make could be your last, the design around how sound creates gameplay is critical to what makes a quiet place the road ahead fun. Every action in the road ahead demands precision, as even the slightest movement can create sound. The world that we built mirrors our real world, where different materials not only create different type of noise, but that sound occurs at different loudness. If you are working on sand, sound is diffusing to the ground and results in quiet footsteps. Working on compacted dirt may be a little bit louder, and rusty metal, well, you are going to want to move slowly to keep volume levels low. And not everything is just ground, as additional elements are layered on top. Leaves, water, glass and other materials may be scattered across surfaces, each having their own loudness, which might attract the attention of the creatures. If you thought the simple act of walking around was hard in this apocalypse, every formerly mundane moment is now a danger to your life. Want to open a door or drawer? You'd better do it carefully and quietly. Throughout your survival story, you'll face a variety of objects that you need to interact with in order to progress. Each one has the potential to create life-ending sounds, so it will take intense focus to make it through alive. The sound detection system that we built takes into account the loudness of any noise the player makes, as well as the duration of the noise. If you build up a combination of loud or lengthy noises that exceed a defined threshold, the creatures will have heard enough to find your location, even from far away, and that's game over. There are a few difficulty levels that will change how much noise you are allowed to make, and the creatures have a few tricks of their own to break the rules and hunt you faster. After all, it wouldn't be a quiet place if survival was easy.